and hello everybody it is dingle here and welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope y'all are doing super super duper well and if you are new here hello my name is mac i think i already said that if you enjoyed the vibes here make sure to hit the subscribe button because we upload videos here every single monday wednesday and sunday and if you see any pop-ups going up on the screen like somebody following or subscribing or the very fast moving cat in the top corner of of the video. This was a stream, I live stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we mostly, the majority of the time, I would say the vast majority of the time, play The Sims on that channel on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's twitch.tv slash MacDingle. We have been known to play Stardew Valley. We have been known to play Animal Crossing. Just some cozy, cozy kind of simulation, farmy vibes, cozy games. So if you enjoy that and you want to come hang out with us live and see builds like this live as they happen go ahead and follow that channel it's really fun over there i love hanging with you guys there but today i thought i'd speed it up for a speed build and i don't know what i'm really calling this it's like a modern cottage living build this will be my very first cottage living build i feel like i have barely scraped the surface when it comes to this new pack but whatever i have seen so far oh my gosh obsessed can we just talk about how obsessed like i don't remember the last pack that i was this excited about except for seasons as well as parenthood i think they absolutely jam packed this pack with new features and build items and the whole entire theme is so cohesively brought together and i'm i'm obsessed with it they could have had it just be around farming but cottage living i feel like is a perfect title for this pack because you've got the cozy cottage vibes you can choose to farm or if you don't that's totally fine too you could just be an animal person or you don't have to do any of that at all because then just having that town center also in the town like and having to go grocery shopping and just having that community vibe is so unique and i think everything with the farm and the animals the horse no not the horses that's just me dreaming the cat and the llamas and things like that. I just think this is overall an amazing, amazing pack. And I think The Sims did an amazing job. If you have any favorite parts of the pack, if you have any critiques, please leave them in the comments below. Tell me if you love it as much as I have been loving it. I'm just, I'm obsessed. Now with the gushing over with, although I can't tell you that there's not gonna be any more gushing throughout this video, we have our very first build. We, on the first stream, I wanted to dive into as much of the pack as possible, so we went and dove into a lot of the create a sim. And when I say dive in, I really, really mean dive in. We went through every single outfit that the girls have as well as the guys have. I didn't actually go through the kids, the children, or the toddler outfits, so I'm really excited once we get farther into the gameplay that we have. Um, we made two sims, their names are June and and Jerry and we're gonna make a lot of generations and this house is actually the house that I'm going to have as a goal for them to move into once they save up enough money on their smaller farm right now but all that to say is that <laughs> I get so off track I am so sorry about that but all that to say is that we had gone to create a sim but this is the very first time that I had really dove into the build by type of items in this pack this is going to be part one of two this is going to be the exterior normally an exterior wouldn't take too long but the vision that I have for this um, was based off of an image I saw on Pinterest and instead of giving me the whole house plan this Pinterest photo just had one image of the exterior of what looks like kind of a modern English type of farmhouse cottage i wouldn't i don't know really know how to categorize but it's more of a modern cottage vibe that's how i would categorize it and so we wanted to kind of farm it up a little bit we went off of that photo 
for the exterior, but then I feel like the exterior of these cottage homes, especially with this pack specifically, do take a little bit longer because I wanted to think about the sections of the garden versus the cow. So I almost I thought I almost said horse, but the cow slash llama pen as well as the chicken pen. I kind of wanted it to have that separation. I feel like we've seen that a lot in a lot of the cottage builds that are based off of real life type of farming cottage living where you have this type of rock wall or this, this type of uh, fencing that is separated into sections based on the type of crops that you're growing or the type of animals that you have. So that's what we did on the side there. And then somebody, I think it was our friend on the stream caravan mom, she had suggested some English gardens and the inspiration photo was definitely more on the modern or minimal side when it came to the gardens, but we just kind of spread out and we were like, no, we need to, we need to take advantage of the garden. So you'll see a lot of just sporadic little tiny vignettes of gardens or, you know, like farm items, like that little wagon thing there. And um, Caravan Mom also helped me out with opening Debug. I actually don't usually build with Debug. It is very, very, uh, what's the word, overwhelming, I would say. <laughs> I would say if you feel the same, leave a comment down below so I don't feel <laughs> so I don't feel as alone, but definitely overwhelming, but amazing. Like the debug in this pack specifically, I don't know if I would build with debug in any other type of build, never say never, but specifically with this pack, when it comes to wanting all these little gardens and these little vignettes, like I was saying, Debug was an absolute lifesaver and I am obsessed, <laughs> obsessed with Debug. I keep laughing because all my emotes are going everywhere with every with all of the love that everyone is sending in this stream. But between like the plants and the ivy that we were able to replicate from the inspo picture onto the house that we were building, um, as well as just the, you know, the bikes and, and all the farming things. Oh my gosh, the Debug in here, highly recommend it's worth it. It is worth the um, beginning overwhelmingness, I would say. And at the end of the day, oh my gosh, like I love how this yard turned out. We weren't sure what to do with the trees there. So we had we had some good polls on the stream of what to do with like the willow trees and things like that. I didn't want to shade or cover up too much, but I do love the willow trees and the trees that we saw in Debug in general. But I think between this modern vibe of the house itself, coupled with a very thought out and pathed type of garden and animal sections of the garden. Oh my gosh, I think the combination is so great. And then you guys will see in part two, which will be uploaded soon. So if you wanna see that, you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure to stick around for that. We are gonna go inside the house, which again had zero, zero house plan. I had nothing to go off of for the inside of the house or what this house might look like inside. And so there was kind of like an inner type of uh, inner struggle with wanting to be more modern, but also wanting to explore the build by items of the decor and the wallpaper and the kitchen counters and all of that stuff. Like I didn't want to go too cottagey because the exterior of the house was more on the modern side of things, but I also wanted to explore the stuff. So stay tuned for what we ended up doing in there, what kind of direction we ended up going. But even just looking at the build right now, just looking looking back at the speed build portion of things, I cannot wait to move my Sims in. I can't wait to play test it. There are some questionable moves that we made with BB move objects and things. So I really wanna make sure that the Sims are able to get everywhere they are able to get. Oh my gosh, this pond. Don't even get me started on the pond. We figured it out in the end. We I got a little bit better with the pond tool thanks to you guys coaching me through it on the stream. But oh my gosh, it was a little bit of a struggle at first. It's a very very, it's almost like a very advanced tool if you want it to be advanced and it took a little bit of uh, dumbing down for me honestly because I don't usually work too well with terrain but I love how that turned out and also when we move sims in we get to see if the tadpoles are in there and the fish and all of that stuff so I'm just overall really pumped to play this I cannot wait to get my sims in here I personally would like to move in here if I'm being honest um, that would be really great but the real question is is if I can leave my uh, modern amenity and you know modern type of lifestyle to go live 
off the land and live on a farm, we're not entirely sure, but please enjoy these aesthetically pleasing screenshots. And if you want more screenshots such as this or screenshots of my Sims, go ahead, follow me on my Simstagram. We are almost at 100 followers, which is crazy. I feel like I just made it for fun and now I can't believe like time warped and now we're almost at 100, so that's really cool. But otherwise guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already for more videos such as this for part two of this build. And I will catch you in the next one, my friends. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.